Hello guys, it's me again, and today, oh, I always do this, always messing up somehow. But anyway, um, we are actually doing something really different in this video. We are doing an unboxing, well, I mean, not really an unboxing, because I already unboxed it, but I thought it would be a pretty good idea to um, make a video on it. So yeah, I'm going to show you. This is what I just got. And I'm going to be putting it on. And I'm going to move to the side because I need to get undressed. So. Don't look at me. No, just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Well, that's so nice. That's so nice. If it's all like a glove, wow, makes me look so muscular. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. But I'm actually being completely honest. The thing that it does fit like a glove. Shimmy, 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 Alright, so. Just getting my hands through my fingers. Oh, yeah! Dude, this thing literally fits perfect. It's a little tight. I can barely bring fingers on. And I can um barely even get the suit on because how tight it is. It's a small. I should have. I should have got. Oh, actually, it's gonna be muscular. The muscle she is. Alright, but um, let me stop flexing my um unripped bod and get on this ripped. Bod suit. Just make sure the fingers fit. Alright. I feel like this is the first time you actually see me in a different shirt. Other than, well actually, oh no. Cause um, I was going to say, this is the first time you actually see me in wearing so a top that's different from the top I wear every video. It's like a, a black jersey, number 12. Yeah, it's a number 12 black jersey. And this is a suit. Got the spider in the back. Yeah, if you're looking for like a really good replica of like a Spider-Man costume, this one isn't like a movie accurate, but it's like a comic book accurate. So, um, I really recommend this one. And I was really surprised, um, because when I ordered it, um, it said it was thirty dollars. I'm like, no, no way, it's thirty dollars because the picture he was like this and it looked really good. And yeah, here's Matt's by the way. Yeah, and it looked really good, and I'm like, no way, it is not $30, by the way, there's a zipper on the back. And also, I don't know if you notice, but in the front, it looks fine, but on the inside, it is really dark, it's like sunglasses. Like, look at that. So I see it through. Now I can't see that at all. Alright, take pop ups. Right. There you go. Or the lenses aren't such a treat. 
Can I just get this off first? Jesus. It's really tight. There we go. All right, um. There we go. Also, I'm getting another Spider-Man costume. It's the homecoming one, and I may do a video on it. Yeah, I'm just saying it's it's the homecoming one, and I may get a new suit. I, I mean, I may do a video on it. Oh, this is the suit. And I'm a little upset that the zipper's right here. It's all on the side. But yeah, I like the suit overall. I love all the shoes. I mean, they're not really shoes, but I mean, yeah, I just love the costume overall, and yeah. Yeah, another good thing about the costume, it has mustard shadings, so, you know, you don't look, because, you know, there's the cheap co Spider-Man costumes, where they have the actual muscles built into it, and I don't like those kind of costumes, because they, they look way, they make you look way, like, way too fat. And ow, I just caught my hair. Okay. Right, this is gonna be a problem. Oh. Whew. Yeah. If you are me, I weigh almost 100 pounds, I think. Maybe 100. And I am like 4 or 5 feet tall. Um, You should definitely get a medium. Because I got a small... Because on the size chart, I don't know if it's right, because it said that, like, a small, um, should be, like, good. And the medium would have been too big on me. But apparently, small is too small, and the medium... You, even if the costume does say your perfect size, you should still just get, you know, another, um, one size bigger. Because, um, yeah, just in case, so, you know, you can keep it for longer. And yeah, this is the costume. Let's see if I can stand up on here. Whoa. It's crushing my crotch. Okay. Makes me look muscular. The ball looks really big in it though. I'm just gonna get that. But yeah, that was um the suit review. And again, um it is if you go on Amazon, um, I was looking up Spider-Man costumes. I don't know if I said with the lenses or something, but yeah, this costume, it looked really good. The guy was like this with the mask on, and yeah, it looked really good. From what I was seeing, it looked really good, and again, it's $30, and it's a really good replica suit. Um, if you're looking for the movie accurate, then this is not the one to get, but if you're looking for like a comic book suit or something, it's still a good one. And then the lenses kind of remind me of the Amazing Spider-Man one, because just the way they are. But, you know, they're bigger. And, yeah. I don't really have any flaws with the suit. The only flaw is this, and I wish it was, like, the one that comes up with the side, the side zipper. And then this, it is really dark inside. Like, it looks normal. For, for some reason, inside smells like peppermint, like candy cane or something. But, um, again, um, these lenses, they are very dark. Very dark on the inside. And, yeah, but if you see, they kind of... I don't know if the camera is, you know, catching that. But, see, it looks reflective. Like, you can literally see the lenses right there. See the reflection? They're a little reflective. But, yeah, um... Well, yeah, again, this is the suit overall. It is a great suit. I don't even know why I put on the mask. I got something on my hair. 
But again, it is a great suit overall. It is definitely a good buy. You should definitely snatch it before they're all gone. And yeah, that's my review on this suit. It is really good. Definitely 10 out of 10. And yeah, see you all in the next video. Peace.